basically Peter Pan belonged to Tiger Lily this girl right here Peter Pan and her they were a thing and then Wendy came it sounds like a very emotional book that is gonna, probably gonna make me cry and I love it Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about all the books that I read in January, the books that I'm currently reading, and also my TBR list for the rest of the month and maybe the start of March. But before we get started, I just want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with lots of inspiring classes for curious and creative people. It's a great place to learn new skills and develop on your current interests. It's also a really great way to stay productive. This month, I learned how to make the perfect grilled cheese sandwich. It was so much fun and so yummy. My teacher was Ilana Karp. I enjoyed every minute of the class. It was really fun. Skillshare offers membership with meaning and the community that they've built, it's filled with lots of encouragement and lots of inspiration. I really enjoyed looking at everyone's version of the perfect grilled cheese sandwich. This is mine. <laughs> it's yummy. If you're looking to find a boredom, learn something new, or do a little bit of self-care, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. If you want to try it out for yourself, the first 1,000 people to use the link below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And after that, it'll just be about $10 a month. Happy learning! Okay, so today we're going to talk about all the books that I read. For the month of January, I didn't read a lot of books because I kind of fell into a reading slump for the first two weeks of January and it's all because of one of these books. Um, which I'll talk about later on. So the first book that I read is called Politics and the English Language by George Orwell. It was okay. It talks about how politics <clears throat> ruins the English language and how George Orwell thinks that modern English just sucks. And the second book that I finished this month, this is the kind of book that you would come back and reread and you would, you know, get something out of it. So it teaches me a lot of things. The woman who wrote this book, she married a rich man and it just really opened up my eyes to how different people see money. Go into the book with an open mind because you might get triggered by a lot of the things that she says But I just want to tell you to go into this book with an open mind and you will learn something The next book that I read it was an ebook. It's called the new law of attraction I read this book a three star and I also dnf up this book because I just felt it was really generic There was nothing special about the book and nothing that I didn't already know So yes a three star it was okay And then the last book that I read in January I just finished this I got the first book free online It is a trilogy I think crown of feathers by Nick Nikki Pau Preto? Preto? I don't know. It was. It's the best book that I've read in January. It's one of the best series that I've read. I bought the second book straight away and I can't wait for it to be here. I bought the Owl Crate exclusive signed edition so it's quite a big deal to me when I buy a signed book. It means I really really love the author. If you guys want to know the synopsis of the books just search it up because I'm really bad with that but it is a great book. It's action packed. The characters are amazing. There's also a kind of slow burn romance and the storyline is great. <sighs> It's beautiful. Five out of five stars. This is my first five star read of 2021. Now let's talk about the books I'm currently reading. Right now I am currently reading six books. The first book that I'm reading is Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. This is the third installment of the um, Home for Peculiar Children series and I'm absolutely loving it. As you guys can see I'm almost done with this book. I've got about this much left and look at my bookmark. This is my little strawberry mug. It houses all of my bookmarks. I've got some really pretty ones like these. I have some Japanese ones. It's a cat. If you guys want a bookmark collection, tell me in the comments below. Back to the book. I love how the story is just so immersive. It's just this, it's so much fun. You go along with all the characters and it's it's gruesome, it's creepy. It just draws you right in. Uh, the moment I start reading this, it's like I've entered another world. <sighs> I love it. The next book that I read, this was the book that made me fall into a reading slump. I'm sorry, but I was so looking forward to reading this book. I am a hundred pages in and I'm not enjoying this book. Everyone rated it a five star, literally all of the booktubers I follow rated this book a five star and I'm not liking it. I'm really not. I'm really not liking it. I hate it. Um, I hate the main protagonist. I think he is annoying and just a little bit too sassy and angsty for my liking. I don't know. Everyone says he's funny and all that. I don't know. He just comes off really like desperate to me. I don't know. I'm just not liking it. So I'm not too sure if I'm going to push through this book and just finish it or if I'm just going to stop it here. But yeah, this is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Abatali. The next book that I'm reading, it is on my Apple books, Tales of Mother Goose, um, which is based 
basically a children's classic I've been reading bits and pieces of that before I go to bed and it's been really nice it's kind of like reading myself a bedtime story before I go to bed I've also been reading Pride and Prejudice I have never read Pride and Prejudice but I've always heard of Mr. Darcy I've heard it in Wild Child I've heard it in so many Hollywood films so that's why I decided to pick this book up the next book that I'm reading it is an audiobook it is Coraline by Neil Gaiman he is the author and he's also the one narrating the book and oh my god his voice he has a really nice podcasty voice the book itself it's creepy like I know the movie is creepy and it freaked me out a lot as a kid but the audiobook oh my god the voices of the mice it's so creepy <laughs> It is great. I love Coraline. It's such a classic. And the last book that I'm reading, I just started this one. It's Fate of Flames from the Effigies series. This is basically about four women who can can control the elements and they have to basically fight some supernatural sci-fi thing that's what i get from the synopsis and the vibes but i'm not too sure what exactly happens in the book because i've just started reading it but it seems really interesting it's kind of like um like transformers or like pacific rim i'm quite enjoying it so far this is actually my first like sci-fi sci-fi book i love watching sci-fi films but i've never read sci-fi books so so for the books that i want to read my tbr list because i'm reading so many fantasy series and a lot of them have crazy world building so there's lots of things to remember so for the rest of the month i'm planning to read contemporary novels so i have two contemporary novels that i'm planning to read a totally awkward love story and emergency contact so yes they're both pink i love pink they're both really just sweet squeal worthy just <laughs> super cute um contemporary novels and i'm really excited all the books that i'm currently reading they have lots of things that i have to remember sometimes i get you know confused with all the worlds but with contemporary novels you can just skim through and it's just really quick and easy to read I am planning to read one of the biggest books that I have at the moment To Sleep in the Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini <laughs> I just can't wait to finish reading all of my current books and then dive into this big boy I received a sample of this and I read the sample of it Christopher Paolini's writing just captivated me I want to be able to fully immerse myself in Christopher's world building because he is one of the best when it comes to building fantasy worlds I heard that it's very action-packed as well so I am ready for an adventure It's so beautiful and then of course after finishing library of souls of course i'm gonna be picking the fourth book up i just love this series the series is just amazing i don't know how people cannot like the series if i have time i am being quite ambitious right now with my tbr because obviously i probably wouldn't be able to read this unless i am in a reading mood but i do want to get through most of my books before buying new books if i do have time i really want to pick these two up words in deep blue by kath crowley also can we just talk about the cover i'm such a sucker for cute packaging and also i am born in the year of the tiger according to the chinese zodiac sign and apparently blue is my lucky color for 2021 so maybe that's why i'm so attracted to color blue i've always been attracted to the color blue but even more attracted to it this year because it is my lucky color and it says that i should avoid black nothing black here except for polynes book but still it has blue on it so yes i think it's about two people who are kind of broken they found each other in a bookstore and i think they write letters to each other inside the book and communicate like that as they sort of exchange messages in the book they found a sort of hope in each other and eventually they start to heal each other so it sounds like a very emotional book that it's gonna, probably gonna make me cry and I love it and the last book it's Tiger Lily by Jodie Lynn Anderson so this was the story before Peter Pan met Wendy basically before Peter Pan and Wendy was a thing Peter Pan belonged to Tiger Lily this girl right here Peter Pan and her they were a thing and then Wendy came and so you know obviously jealousy and all that thing happened I don't know maybe Peter Pan cheated Peter Pan is one of my favorite classics to read and anything about Peter Pan I would gladly read so I would put this one on my bedside table because I feel like this would be nice to read before I go to bed like a little bit every day so yes that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you guys liked it please give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye